Just when I thought robot vacuums cannot get any more advanced, I got approached by Roborock to test out their new Saros Z70 robot vacuum, which is a very unique vacuum thanks to its mechanical arm, powerful AI features, and all-in-one cleaning capabilities. And when I say mechanical arm, I'm talking about its flagship feature, the Omni Grip, which has the capability to pick up items like socks, slippers, and crumbled papers and move it out of the way as it mops and vacuums your home. It even knows I'm talking to it. For example, if I say, hey, Rocky. I'm here. It'll just turn and look at me. Let me quickly show you guys what's in the box when you get this vacuum, and then we're gonna dive into the features. Now, when you buy one of these vacuums, you do get everything in the box. We've got the vacuum right over there. Got some user guides. We have a bin, which has a great function I'm gonna show you. We do have the mopping pads, power cable, and of course, we do have a base station. We do have an extra dust bag that goes into the dustbin inside over there. And we have this ramp over here that attaches to the base station so the vacuum can go in here and get its work. All right, guys, so let's quickly dive into the mechanical arm, its main feature. And you are able to use it in multiple ways. I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, you can set it so it automatically picks up items and source them at a designated area, or by using the built-in remote control, you can use it manually to pick up, which is actually also fun. If you have kids, they'll be playing with this all day long. And it's also safe, so it doesn't accidentally grip things that it's not supposed to grip, like pets or your hand. So I'm gonna show you all the safety features, Let's look at the automatic cleaning capability. All right, so right now we're doing a little zone cleanup and it just recognized that there's some socks over there. So it is going into pickup and sort mode. And I want you guys to take a look at what happens. So the mechanical arm will now come out. It just recognized that there's a sock there with AI and it's gonna pick it up. And after it picks it up, it's gonna go over and put it into the sorting area that I set myself in the app. So watching this happen in real time is really mind blowing. And take a look at this. It's gonna drop it off next to the bin, which is what I told it to do in the app. I can use the bin as well, but in this case, I'm just using that small area next to the bin as my sorting area. And now the vacuum is gonna put the arm back and it's gonna go back to the cleaning zone and continue to pick up other items and clean the remaining area, vacuum and mop. All right, so let's talk about manual pickup. So here's my app, it is connected to my vacuum and here's a piece of crumbled paper. I'm gonna pick that up manually using the remote control and you're gonna see how much fun this is. My kids have been playing with this and they just love it. So look at this, it says remote control to pick up. I'm gonna tap it. And if there's a password I have to put in, I'm gonna do that right now. Once I put the pa password in, activated. it activates the camera. So right now the vacuum is looking at that piece of crumbled paper and you can see that right here. This paper is that paper. Now what I can do is look at this. I'm gonna, it's gonna keep telling me that it's active, okay? So let's uh, go to the front here. I just wanna show you guys if I press this. It moves up. I'm gonna stop it right there. Remote control started. All right, so I'm gonna go back just a little bit. Let me go back just a little bit. Okay, and now you can see I have the crumbled paper in my vision right there. Remote viewing active. Okay, and I'm gonna say go ahead and pick that up. Look at what happens. I'm gonna tap on start pickup. Start gripping an item. You can see the camera in real time picking that up. Okay, you can even see it happening. Remote viewing active. Okay, so now it has it picked up. And I can also put it down. Let me just uh, pause this, refocus over here. Okay, you can see I can do a put down. If I tap on put down, it's gonna put it Remote down. You can see the whole thing in real time. All right, that is crazy. And also on top of that, let's come back over here. You have this option to do manual controls. So I can control every aspect of that arm. 
I can, you know, if I tap this button, for example, look, it pinches, okay? If I tap this button, it unpinches. So I can fully control it using this remote control with a built-in camera. Now doing this by yourself takes time, so I wouldn't do it, you know, all the time, obviously, but it's just fun option to have. Now, what about safety? What if your pet runs in front of the vacuum as it is trying to pick something up? Or maybe your kid, they think it's a toy, they try to put their hand on it. Will the robotic arm hurt someone? The answer is no. It's got a whole bunch of anti-pinch sensors. Let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so the first anti-pinch sensor is in this location right over here, okay, all over there. And basically, if something gets stuck in here, this is not gonna close and this is not gonna pinch your hand or whatever other object gets stuck there is not gonna cause any harm. Now the second pinch sensor is gonna be on the inner side of this mechanical arm. So again, if your hand was here, if your kid's hand was here, or if anything is stuck here, it's not gonna close on your hand or whatever is stuck in this area right here. So let's see if it's gonna hurt my finger. So I'm gonna have it pick up this sock, but then I'm gonna put my hand inside. So I'm gonna do a pickup Stop right now. Item. It's gonna pick it up. Okay, it's gonna recognize that item. It's gonna try to pick it up, but I wanna bring my hand right here, okay? Error 65, anti-pinch sensor Remote viewing active. Please make sure there are no obstacles near the robotic arm. Okay, so that was one example. I just put my arm right here and quickly it detected that something happened. So the anti-pinch functionality Remote kicked in and now, and now the arm is paused. And to reset that, all I do is press and hold this for three seconds. Error 65, anti-pinch sensor trigger. Remote viewing active. The robotic arm is resetting. Please okay. keep a safe distance. Now it's resetting. It's just gonna put it back in, the, uh, in its housing and you can retry picking stuff up. So I do want to let you know something really interesting about this product. It actually has dual cameras. There are cameras right over here, and also there's a camera in the actual arm. So that's why it's able to see things and recognize things much more easy by combining vision from both of the cameras and then using AI technology to recognize and understand what it's looking at. By having all these cameras, and sensors basically all over the robot vacuum, it is able to enhance the robot's understanding of the environment. It can differentiate between 3D objects or 2D objects, and also it is constantly updating the map in your house. If you move furniture or if you move items, it's just gonna know and it's gonna act accordingly. Now I do wanna let you know that this is all running on pre-release beta software. So there were some issues once or twice so in this instance, it is gonna recognize that it's a sock. It's gonna attempt to pick it up, but then it's not gonna be able to pick it up uh, because it just couldn't. Uh, it will still continue to vacuum and mop around the sock, okay? Which is perfectly fine, but in this instance, it did fail to pick up the sock. So again, I believe this is because of pre-release software. And let me show you something in the app that is very interesting. Nobody wants to bend over 20, 30 times a day to pick up items. So as you can see, uh, Roborock can do that for you. It will just grab slippers, crumble papers, and with updates, it's gonna add even more objects it can pick up and take to a designated location. And it also makes sure it doesn't lift anything beyond 300 grams so it doesn't lift up something that's too heavy that it cannot handle. I do have to say it is working very well, but with updates, it's just gonna get better. The software updates are just gonna refine its pickup capabilities and the number of objects it is able to pick up. By the way, beyond the AI capabilities and also the robotic arm, as a vacuum and mop, this product is also incredible. It does have 22,000 PAs of suction power, which is on the higher end of vacuums I've tested. 
And you can see it can do carpets, it can do hardwood floors, it can transition from one to the other, no problem. It also has a very slim design. This slim design allows it to go under furniture that is low height, and that's a great feature as well. And you can see it also has the extendable mop pads. So it actually extends out and cleans the corners and mops the corners of your house so it gets every nook and cranny nice and clean. And I wanna show you guys some things in the apps that just shows you how advanced this vacuum is. So I'm just gonna enter here and I'm gonna show you a couple things. So this is just a map of my room and you can see everything is customizable. I can customize the vacuuming, the mopping, the intensity, and all that stuff can be changed from here. I can do zone cleaning. So if I wanna clean a specific area in the room, I can just change the size and do zone cleaning. That's no problem. The docking station can do everything. It empties your robot after it does cleaning. It washes the mop pads. It dries the mop pads. It even heats up the water tank to get you hot water mopping. Okay, we have all these dock settings you can customize. And then if I go over here, for example, if I go to my carpet cleaning settings, you can see I can detach the mop pads while it is vacuuming the carpet and that allows it to not get any water on the carpet. Or if you want, you can use the lift system. So it actually is able to lift the mop and then vacuum the carpet. So you have all these options. You can also avoid cross or ignore carpets. It's all gonna be up to you. We have all these dock settings that you can customize in the app. It's very important to become familiar with the app with these with these robot vacuums but then we also have reactive obstacle avoidance so if you want you can actually avoid obstacles so Roborock does not run into them and you can see an example of that happening right now instead of picking up obstacles it is just avoiding obstacles and cleaning around the obstacles so we do have the reactive obstacle avoidance feature that uses multiple cameras and time of flight sensors to get everything nice and accurate. We do have the AI environment recognition. We have a light that works at night. So even if it's dark, your vacuum can do its job. It can see in the darkness. And then we also have the robotic arm. You can see uh, we can do follow-up cleaning. We can do sorting, which we showed you. We can do manual sorting. All these options are available. The product is definitely uh, full of features. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video. Like I said, this product is different. It's got that robotic arm that is able to pick up items and take them and sort them to a designated area so you don't have to pick up every single time. It will pick up for you. It's got all the AI capabilities to recognize what to pick, what not to pick, what to avoid. Sometimes it makes mistakes, but that is because of the initial release. With software updates, it's just gonna get better and more precise. And beyond that, it still has all the other capabilities of any other robot vacuum. Cleaning, vacuuming, mop washing, mop drying, self-cleaning. So if you wanna check this product out and get all the details, the links are gonna be down below in the description. All the details, all the early discounts, all that information is gonna be down below. Let me know if you have any questions. For now, guys, have a fantastic day.